Hey everyone, this is Dusk on Aesthetic Gamer, and this is Resident Evil Dead Name. Precisely, this is an error message, but it's not actually an error message. It appears whenever you launch the game on anything. I'm playing this through emulation, but this also had occurred on the PS2 version. It's essentially telling you that for whatever reason you have, don't have a save file yet. And the save file doesn't really create itself until after inside the game you go to a typewriter and save. I did my research. However, though, despite that, I actually know very little about this game. I know it's part of the Gun Survivor series. The Gun Survivor series was a series of four games that Capcom made. Uh, some people mistake them as being on-rail shooters. The correct answer is that they were preludes to the Resident Evil Chronicle series. However, though, only three of the Gun Survivor series are actually Resident Evil games. The other one is a Dino Crisis game. Um, besides that, there's not too much else to say. I'm also aware that this game's main character is a straight-up stereotypical American, and that uh, he preludes with a... Uh, Asian woman, and apparently it's supposed to be the best romance in the series, blah blah blah, jam jam jam. We're gonna go straight into this though. Start. I forgot they still had these messages at the time. I'll talk a little bit more after this intro. But short, not bad. Alright, so this was actually made somewhat as a, apparently, according to my knowledge, a test engine for Resident Evil 4. Um, that'll become more apparent once we get inside the game. I'm actually gonna look at the options first. Aim adjustment, which does nothing for me. Uh, this gun con two button settings was if I was gonna be using one of those gun controllers for the game. This game is not an on-rail shooter, but whenever you switch to aiming mode, you switch to a first person mode. And that was supposed to be because you were supposed to be able to use like a light gun for the game. Anyways, monitor tuning, screen adjustment, sound stereo, vibration off. What are the controller settings? There's only two controller settings, type A and type B. And all they seem to do is change the sneak move button. Okay. With that said and done, let's go straight into a new game. And because I like to put a challenge on myself, let's go straight to hard. Establishing a kingdom where beauty has absolute authority is the dream, which I must make a reality. By Morpheus D. Div I, I can't say I've ever heard of that person. Raccoon City, a midwestern town in the United States, was destroyed when a substance known as the T-Virus leaked throughout the town. However, Umbrella, the corporation developing the virus, refused to abort the project. And once again, the threat of biological terror was thrust upon the world. A large amount of T-Virus was stolen three days ago when a terrorist group hit an Umbrella lab in France. Yesterday, one of Umbrella's cruisers was hijacked and contaminated with the same virus. Going to your head. 
What do you plan to do with the T-Virus? I'm afraid that's all the playtime we have for today. You die. Now. straight into the game. A uh, few things I want to comment. Yes, that guy does look like a girl. He also kind of looks like Sephiroth. I might be the only one who sees that, but I'm not certain. The other thing which I can say straight off the bat is that I forgot for some reason that this game took place on a boat. For some reason, the Resident Evil peoples were really, really obsessed with making the series take place on a boat. I don't know. Resident Evil 3 was originally supposed to take place on a boat, but that was scrapped. Then Resident Evil Gaiden takes place on the boat, and this game takes place on the boat. Resident Evil 4's Wii Edition has a boat stage in it. Resident Evil 5 has a boat stage in it. Resident Evil 6 has a boat stage in it, and Resident Evil Revelations takes place on the boat. I guess they just really like Terror Rail at Sea. Also, messing around with the controls right now, your default, um, this is kind of weird to me, you run like this, your default animation is just running, but you have to hold one of the L buttons to start making yourself walk. The, if you hold this L button, you kind of go in like this strafing mode. But I press this walk button, I go walking around kind of just normally. That's the quote unquote sneak mode that they had open. Also, I guess I came in through the ceiling, despite the fact that there was a door playing noise that occurred. I mean, I could see the hole there, but I, I don't know how the hell I got here. Anyways, let's start actually messing about. Can we actually observe things? Or. I, to be honest, if I'll be completely honest, I am almost completely blind on this. I mean, I knew a few things, like the saving thing, but outside of that, I shrug. Interesting moodiness, though. I kind of prefer if, the, if it just walked around normally, but I'll do it like this for the now. I'm coming to the conclusion that you probably cannot really observe things in this game. Our character doesn't really seem to have the ability to. Okay, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try a few different buttons, though. This does nothing. None of these buttons do anything right now. Uh, Alright, this is how I aim. And this also explains what I'm talking about. I don't know why it keeps on going out of aim mode. But whatever. I'll stay, make it stand still for a second. Essentially, when I go into aim mode, this is what I'm talking Oh, I can aim. Oh, okay, I see. It's because I can't move and shoot at the same time. Of course, this is a fucking Resident Evil game. They will not let you. That's kind of bizarre. So apparently you can try moving when you're aiming like this, but you can't use, like, actually move or else you automatically go out of the mode. You can turn the screen like this, but basically when you go into aiming mode, you gotta stand still is the basicness of what I'm trying to figure out. However, you can use the right stick to sort of move around and aim. You can also see your health and your ammo down below, so I guess that's nice. Nice painting. You can't look up or down though, beyond this. You can kind of just spin around and aim the cursor. Kind of bizarre, but I'll take it. Oh, oh no, okay, that's how I shoot. I don't want to waste my ammo yet. <laughs> okay. I really don't want to waste it. Pressing the same button to, go to use this to go into aiming mode actually shoots your gun, so. Ooh. I like to say I like the desolate sort of atmosphere already. Right? Despite the fact I'm pretty sure it's going to be taken over by an action y atmosphere. This was before Resident Evil 4, but again, you might notice that the camera angle, not exactly, but it's kind of like the camera in Resident Evil 4. Um, to my knowledge, this game actually spun out because they were testing engine stuff for Resident Evil 4 again. I didn't even press anything. I guess you really, you know, you can open the door. You don't really interact with much in this game. He kind of just does everything automatically, like when you approach something. He just automatically told me it was closed. Alright. Music change again. 
Hmm, dead bodies. I wonder where this is going. Let's take a few peeks around here. Totally in fantastic directions. Actually, there's a few doors here. Let me look around here. How many doors are there? Also, is there like a menu in this game? There is a menu. Alright, looks very Resident evil -y. We have an item. We have defaultly a medical spray. I have no idea what those empty slots mean. 14 ammo rounds with that gun. We have a, no map. Alright, no... F oh, actually, we have a file. Intelligence Operation Manual. This is probably like my uh, instruction manual, right? Good morning, Bruce. This time your target is a former executive of Umbrella named Morpheus. This man has stolen the T-Virus and hijacked Umbrella's cruiser. Your mission is to infiltrate the cruiser and report the status immediately to the base of strategic forces. We've prepared some equipment for you to review. Good luck. Items. Your standard equipment consists... I know what items are. Vitality. I know how Resident Evil Vitality goes. Po okay, position. If you fight against two or more enemies at close range, you will almost certainly be damaged. Therefore, if you are surrounded by enemies, move quickly to keep enough distance between you and them, and then target them. In case you are concerned, use the escape button to evade. What the fuck's the escape button? Shooting. Your amount of ammo is limited, therefore do not shoot more than it's necessary, and always aim for the enemy's fatal spot. Although the number of bullets you can carry is limited, you can resupply them indefinitely. What? I'm a bit confused by that, to be, op yeah, to be honest. Also, uh, movie captions on. I wanted to fix that earlier, too. So then you guys can all see cutscenes in case we understand what they're actually saying. Alright, but there's no map, so there's this door here. That's actually not locked like I thought it might be. I wonder if any of these dead bodies are going to get up. I think I came out of this door. Alright, so there's like at least six doors in here, and I came out of, I believe, this one? Or did I come out of this one? Let me check. It's got a bloody trail next to it, so... Yep, this is where I came out of. Not sure why it's so bloody. It's probably because of these dead guys over here. I wish I could pick up the bottles. That'd be useful. I'm gonna still mess around for a little bit. Obviously taking my time and everything. Alright, so this game basically is having the ammo because of resupply points, but I can only carry a certain amount at a given time. Shh, I'll figure out most of this for myself later. I'd rather go in blind knowing next to nothing as opposed to being told. Alright. So we can kind of use the controls here. They're a bit odd. Even by tank. They're not even really. Like, they're tank controls, but they're different type of tank controls, is the thing. What's back here? Ah, another hallway. Um, give me a moment to try and fetch myself through here. What's this door? Oh, a nice little bedroom. Now this isn't a very... It's, it's kind of a nice cruise of... Oh, you can find items to pick them up. I will pick up handgun rounds. Handgun rounds taken. I didn't actually think I'd have to press the button to pick it up. So looking around your environment for items does things prove to be fruitful. They tried really hard to make different atmospheric sounds for this game. I mean, just listen for a second. They're really trying hard. Shh. Like, when I'm in the bathroom, it makes what sounds like toilet noises, I suppose. That's what a toilet is supposed to sound like in Resident Evil Universe. Crossing the ear. Suddenly we have a drone of something like a fan or something. They're going all atmospheric here, and at least I'm trying too many atmospheric sounds here. Back out. I know his walk. Well, this is technically his walking animation. He just defaultly runs unless, of course, I'm holding the button. And I can't change that in the controls. Hmm. Is there actually anything? Nope. This seems like a useless hallway. I guess they decided they just had free space and wanted to do something with it. But hey, you know, window view. Why the fuck not? I'm not gonna question. Why is there... Okay, I guess it's like the living room, and over there is the bedroom, and that's like some viewing room. If for some reason you want a viewing room. I've just never have actually seen something laid out like that. Hmm. Not some difficulties walking, it's just that the controls for walking are kind of bizarre. That's part of the fun, I suppose. Let's try. I'm going to try all the side doors before I try the big old double doors on both sides. Ooh. Hey! Let's see if they have any ammo on them. He looks up at her, at least she does, whenever I hold this. Apparently if I hold this character, like if I hold, or if I stand still, or hold this button, he looks at something of interest. 
So it's one of those games that are trying to take advantage of the character moving their head to look at a particular interesting point point. Not seeing too much more besides that though. I'll check though, I'll definitely check. Barricade by obvious signs I can move aside. Seriously, if I was actually a horror protagonist, I would think to check the rooms that someone seems to be barricading, instead of just ignoring them entirely. Alright, let's uh, continue investigating this ship though. Actually, where were we? Yeah, we just came through here, and we're in some library place that person's just hanging about. You can definitely look at them like this if you really want to. In the back alley. That drone sound thing is gonna distract me until after a while. <laughs> this is another ship which has a useless back hallway. However, though there's a person laying there, you, you guys think he's gonna come alive? Think he's gonna come alive? Oh, here we go. We got a map of the upper decks. Because apparently just an overall map for everywhere on the ship isn't good enough for this ship. It's still holding something. Take the first class key. Alright, a key. We can, we can roll with that. It's by the fact that this enemy holding both the map and the key is mighty suspicious. First class key taken. Well, apparently, the enemy that was in there, I'm guessing it's the person that was hanging themselves, fell down. Will they actually be alive and start attacking us? I can't rightfully say. I'm gonna try and see if I can get these controllers. Ah! I actually aim on to this guy when I look at him. I can't really shoot at him right now, so yeah. Let's take a peek inside. Uh -huh. Hanging woman's the first zombie. <laughs> Works for me. Uh, uh, God dang it! Okay, it's, it's my aiming recital for some reason was way, 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 way down. Uh, the zombies in this are actually pretty fast for, you know, zombies. And my character turns so slowly. Uh, Gee, okay, these controls are gonna take a while to get used to. Wait, she's still alive. God, how much health does she have? Oh, there we go. Finally dead. The controls in this game are very awkward to me at the moment. I'm going to have to take a little bit of time to adjust. You going to come alive too? No? Okay, I guess he's just a dead, dead one. However, though, her coming alive probably means all the other zombies in the facility are going to start coming alive. I'm also worried, yeah, I'm unconscious health already. Right. Fucking nice, stop wasting my old abolits me. So, for those, obviously you guys can't see what my control input is. How you control this game is that you press the R, yeah, it's the L1, the L1 button to drag out your gun. If you move at all, though, you get out of aiming mode. By pressing the L1 button again is how you shoot. You move around, but like this, by using the right control stick. However, if I use the left control stick to move, I'll uh, get out of it because I'm moving and old Resident Evil games you can't move and shoot. So, yeah. I... How many of you are going to rise up from the dead? Fewer than I expected at the very least. At least for now. Maybe it's like one of those games where you backtrack a lot. Oh! The police cop character thing. Need to move, need to move. There's also supposedly an evade button, but I haven't quite figured out what that is yet. Thankfully, this is a big old open area. You also move so slowly. Alright. Oh, was that just a single headshot? I feel good. Though their headshot aiming is kind of bizarre, but I can work with it. I'll work with it. You cannot open the door. That's a shame. I was thinking maybe this key was for this locked door in here, but I'm going to check it out anyway. I like how the enemies also flash red when you they're coming alive. Was it in here? No, wait. I didn't come back. I, yeah, I did not come back. Wait, no. Yes, I did. This was the beginning of the game. <laughs> Silly old me. Slap on the knee. Yeah, I know he just wants a hug, but I'm going to have to deny him. How about you? Oh. Yep, you can now open the door. This is suddenly a silent hill, isn't it? Or maybe I just collect keys. That's more Resident Evil-y. 
Alright, so there's at least two other doors. I'll try this one first. There's a key card lock on the door. So I guess that's a card, not a key. Which means let me run through here and try this out. You use the first class key. For game places. A zombie behind me, but I'm gonna first take care of this guy. Fuck it. Alright. Now where's the zombie behind me? Or not. Okay. I can roll with it. Now let me just eye the corners and the areas like this. Oh, there is a second zombie, he just wasn't where I thought it was. Ah, oh, missed the headshot. Are you dead dead or Evil is dead. No, you're still alive. Just waiting for me to get near you, I guess. They move faster when they're excited to see you. Yeah, a little bit better at this, though, so that's good. Alright. It's especially good because we're playing on hard difficulty. If I don't get better at this, I'm going to probably die. Alright, so I'm going to check over here, actually, before the other area. Because that area seems clear. This area seems clear. This area has a lot of doors. Where did this zombie come from anyway? It looked like he came out of some open door over here, but maybe he was just leaning against the wall. Just taking in the atmosphere. I'll try this door first. Oh, it seems to be closed. How about you? That one's open. Did we find the main hall of the ship? Because this definitely looks like the main hall. That's cool. Before I take this, I want to explore over here a little bit more. Asa should be incredibly happy if there's not regenerating enemies in this game. Are you open? Nope, that's closed. How about you? I bet this lost lead to the main hall. Yep, another side of the main hall. Alright! Now, I'm not, not exactly sure if this is the main hall, but this definitely looks like it. So, time to do some exploring. Both these directions lead to the front side of the ship I just came from. Which means that every other door should lead elsewhere. Ah, you have an actual scripted walking animation. A large painting, The Birth of Venus. Again, the writing just happens on its own. Actually, before I give too much thought to this, I need to check every other door I've run into so far. It will, in fact, open. Oh dear. Hallway full of dead people. It's only gonna go good places. Seems to be closed? Cool. I mean, you all know that, like, eventually, this game probably does have backtracking, and through the course of the game, I bet all these bodies are gonna just start rising eventually. And this is open. There's a shiny that immediately catches my attention, but before I take that, I should make sure no one else is actually alive. You're not. Hmm. Is anyone alive? Are y'all just waiting for me to pick up the shiny? I bet they're all just waiting for me to pick up the shiny. All right. Actually, there's a, it's on right here. Documents lay scattered on the floor. You don't say. Take the guest key card, which of course has to come with the price of the undead. Cool. Uh, yep. Uh, this may not be worth my time right now. Out. They seem to hear you more by sound. Actually, no, they're just like they're like zombies that are stuck in their past guard duty. Let's so get a good shot while I can. Ah, jeez, it's so finicky. That's one. He, the other one really isn't giving a fuck that I'm doing this. Well, why do I care? What's this? Ah, hanging rounds. I'll take it. Anything else with you, lovely fellers? They were just guarding a door that protected what? Oh, oh, oh. It's the main hallway, but suddenly there's a shit ton of zombies in it for no reason. Seriously, where the fuck did you all come from? I can't aim at you guys properly right from here. Thankfully, it seems they don't know how to use stairs. 
So I think I might be at an advantage here. Stand back a little bit. Let's see if I get a few headshots. Why so have a cheap advantage like this? You first. Maybe they'll all just know. Maybe they just don't see me yet. They'll see me once I shoot somebody like that. I mean, I need to be very sure they can't go downstairs before I uh, make any claims like that. Missed that one just barely. Oh, well, she went down at least. I'm gonna try these for the guys over here. I'd like to keep the main hallway closed at all possible. Fucking A. Alright, that's one. A one! This is where a sniper rifle would be really greatly appreciated. This is actually a little bit fast for me, I'll be honest, but it is what it is. I was hoping I had just the right alignment for that one. Now let's see if you can actually climb down the stairs. Oh, nope. They can't climb down the stairs. Hey, I... Uh, yep, or else that one would have already gone down to get me. Stairs are just an invisible, unpassable barricade for them. Well, that makes this incredibly easy. Hey. Weakness to climb stairs, you know, why not? Problem is that they're right there. I can't really get headshots on them. You gonna die yet? Alright, you're dead, dead. Turn this way. Try out these guys. Alright. Headshot on that one. Let's try. Th these guys are just trying to go across the railings here. Problem is, I can't. I'm still trying to use the exact aiming mechanics of this game, so it's like. Pfft. That's a headshot. Actually, is there a way to tone this down? Like, the aiming speed is a little bit faster for me, if I'll be honest. Controller settings. Why not? Okay, no, that's just buttons there. Controller, no. Monitor tuning, screen adjustment, aim adjustment. I don't know what aim adjustment means, but I'm clicking at the moment. Hopefully that does something. Ah, still seems about as fast. Alright. I think I can go up here probably and take care of this last one. I was trying to see if this lady's actually dead or not. Cool. I'll take care of the zombies over here. This one's just hanging. Cool, this one's trying to rush a little bit to me. He's so excited. Okay. And I think you're the last one, so let's take care of you. I'm not sure if the flashing red means they're dead or... No, it just means they're temporarily dead. There was another enemy that was temporarily dead. I should go check him out because I guess they don't come alive till you walk over them. I'd rather take care of them now as opposed to later. I think it was like this one right here. I just walked right over it, whatever. Now me being me, I need to explore a little bit more. And I don't think enemies automatically regenerate in this game, so being a bit careful should be good. Checking it, it seems to be closed. Hmm, let me run through this area with zombies full again. Hey, bye. Knew it! Suddenly everyone else is alive. Fuck, it's locked. This hallway is really not worth my time. At least for the now. Such tight corridors. Alright, so with all that said and done, let's actually see what's in the main hall area of the main hall. Well, there's no front door, probably because we're on a boat. That'd be kind of nice if there was, right? I'm gonna check out this wing over here. There's two doors. I'll take the outer one. That won't open because it seems to be shuttered on the other side. Okay, what about you? Which is the exact same thing as the other side of the door. I'm assuming that this may be the same case over here. Oh my, are we surprised? You know what? The guest card key that goes back to the front of the boat where I started from. 
I know where it goes. I'll head over there if I have a jillion zombies on the way and everything should be good. Just nice, clean, zombie-killing fun. Alright. With a proper checking in. It's not like bajillion zombies in here now. No, nope, we're good. I still like those ambient noises, I'll be honest. Now, predictions on how many zombies may be risen in the main hall, or in this little hallway over here. Not the main hall, because we just came back from that. So that's what I believe is the main hall. Everyone! Did you say everyone? Because almost everyone came to life. Use the guest key card. Cool. Five billion dollars! Yes. We have until midnight tomorrow. Side, Bruce you already know my name. That makes sense since you're blackmailing both of our crews. What's your name? If cooperation is too much to ask for on our first day, might I suggest we simply stay out of each other's way? It's my name. And I don't dig freshmen. If you really want to help, then go ahead. <laughs> Fasty. I noticed too that the subtitles were completely off with everything they said. <laughs> well, that's great. Alright. Uh, let's go check about.